this is without a doubt the busiest summer of my life. The daily goal of hitting a minimum of five kilometers. This is, without a doubt, the busiest summer of my life. We are traveling a ton, and after spending the last few months really focusing on building healthy routines that fit me and my lifestyle and priorities, I was not prepared to lose those just because we're not at home. Today, I'm gonna bring you through a day in my life while we're traveling and show you how I'm trying to maintain all the habits and routines that matter most to me, even during a very crazy, abnormal season of life. The first thing I've been doing, and the thing that I honestly think makes all the difference, is that I'm not sleeping in. I have no plans to sleep in at all for the next six weeks. We've adjusted to the time zone, but we're maintaining a 6 a.m. wake up call. Not only has this been huge in the sense that we're actually maintaining a routine, but it's given Zach and I a chance to actually spend a little bit of time together before we're really just thrown into the chaos of visiting with friends. When it comes to maintaining habits, I think the key is really giving yourself goals that are both challenging and realistic. At least for me, I'm a person who thrives when I know that I'm pushing myself, but also that the goal I'm working towards is actually possible. If I woke up tomorrow and said, I'm gonna run 10K every single day for the rest of this month, I wouldn't even try because I know that that kind of jump is not something I'm going to stick with. I'm someone who thrives when I know that despite the fact that I'm gonna have to work for it, I can hit a target and somebody who loses all motivation when I don't actually believe that it's a possibility. I like to be pushed, but with the confidence that if I follow through, I will actually see the results, you know? So on this trip, I'm trying to be very clear with myself about what habits I'm maintaining versus what I'm kind of letting go. For example, if you are a regular viewer of my videos, then you know that your girl loves a good morning walk. On most mornings, we walk about five kilometers first thing after waking up. Because of our schedule while we're in BC and the time change, particularly with my husband's work, doing it first thing is no longer practical, but we are still keeping our daily walk in. And actually, because we don't have a rental car, we're getting in a lot more steps than we would in Ottawa. Aside from the walk, the habits that I'm choosing to prioritize maintaining on this trip are getting ready every single day, a good sleep schedule, so not just waking up at six, but going to bed at nine, spending time with the Lord and uploading every other day. If I don't hit any of my other daily habits while we're here, I'm okay with that. It's about one o'clock. I've just finished a ton of work for the day and now I'm about to go head out. I'm gonna go walk to meet a friend at a coffee shop and I'm so excited, haven't seen her since we left. You'll hear me say this about like everyone this whole trip, but should be really good. One of the big habits I'm trying to be very mindful on this trip is making sure that I eat enough. I have a bit of a problem with accidentally skipping meals when we're at home and when we're having really full days out visiting people, it's so easy to lose track of whether or not I have fed myself, whether or not I'm becoming hypoglycemic. It's just a bad time. Because we're staying with friends and not in an Airbnb, we don't really have a great cooking setup. We do though have access to a fridge and freezer and basics at all the places we're staying, which we are very grateful for. So I'm trying to be really intentional with coming up with easy, simple meals and food that we can make on the cheap and that's fast and at least relatively healthy. Also tracking my distance on my Apple Watch. And normally I don't really pay attention to how far that I've walked, but I do have a daily goal of hitting a minimum of five kilometers. So I'm paying attention while we're on this trip to make sure we hit that. Although honestly, I really don't think it's gonna be a problem. Good morning, happy Saturday. It has been a couple of days since I've vlogged. The last few days have just been very full with work and friends and all the things, but today is gonna to be a great day. Zach is out of town this weekend and I am here with my best friend. Hello. And we are having a great day so far. We just popped into the cutest thrift store ever. I literally found so many things and so mad that I can't bring them back on the plane. So if you are in the Vancouver area, definitely come to the Abbotsford MCC because it's Unreal and show me what you got because I'm jealous. We're about to head out for a little lake day, which is so fun. I think we're gonna find a coffee shop first and try and like grab a drink for the road, but it should be a really, really fun day.
All right, we just picked up drinks. I got an iced Americano. What did you get? I got an Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey tea, and we went to the cutest little cafe. It's one of those like board game cafes in Abbotsford. So cute. And we're headed out now to the lake, which should be really lovely. Look at those baby ducks. I'm obsessed. spent like the last four hours five hours out of the lake and honestly it's been kind of a perfect day like between going thrifting this morning and we ended up bringing the books we got to the lake and just sat there and read it's been so lovely it's one of the habits i really wanted to touch on in this video is really soaking up quality time and I don't know, maybe that doesn't necessarily apply to everyone on vacation. I guess it depends on who you're with. But for me on this trip, in this season, like just really, really letting myself kind of be filled up with the friendships that I have here has been so huge. And I want to continue to do that. Also like pouring out, like not just getting from people, but it's just been really special and really sweet. And we're reading our books and we kept like both being like, oh my gosh, like I have to read you this part. It's so good. And then Kara would be like, oh my gosh, I have to read you this part. It's so good. And we just go back and forth and it was, so nice and then we just had great conversations about life and anyways i'm just feeling really full so we are on our way back to the area where we're staying right now and then this evening i have plans with a friend i think we're gonna go out and grab like dessert or a drink or something and it's gonna be great all right i just got back quickly did some makeup got changed and i'm about to head out for the evening with a friend we're gonna go grab drinks which should be lovely drinks or dessert or something i don't know but i'm gonna try and get a few minutes of editing done while i'm here i feel bad i think my upload schedule may not be quite as consistent as I really wanted it to be while we're here, but just realistically, like, I am trying to prioritize the friendships with people that we can't see most of the time, but it's also hard because I don't want to miss an upload, so let me see what I can get done. <laughs> and happy Monday. We have a lot we need to get done today, it's gonna be very full, so let's just get started. We've gone for our morning walk and we've had breakfast, and right now I'm about to jump into editing a video. I also need to post it today, so I'm gonna try and get that done as quickly as possible. All right, I've made a ton of progress on the video. I probably have about one round of edits left, but I'm gonna take a break and just get myself ready for the day. I'm gonna do my hair, throw on some makeup, and then we'll jump back into work. Overview for the plan of the day. Yes. And a couple days ago, we can come anytime after one. So Perfect. I have quite a bit of work to do. So while you are doing work, I am filming a vlog, editing a video, I need to film another video, and then I need to update my media kit and rates and send that out to a brand that's asked for it. So I'm gonna try and have that all done by one o'clock. Okay. Um, and if you're not, fair enough. Yeah. Um, but if you're not, then I will just start packing. Yeah, my that's stuff. what I was gonna say. Yeah. And then if you are, then we can both start packing. Okay, well, I am feeling much more pulled together. I'm gonna get some laundry going and then get back to work. It is such a nice day. I just filmed a quick video and now we are out for a walk. We are just gonna go grab a coffee, I think is the plan. Then we're gonna come back, pack up our stuff and then we are heading out because we are leaving today. We're gonna go stay with some other friends. So very excited to see them tonight. What a wild few days. As you guys can see, I'm filming this a couple days later because 
your girl got lash extensions. I'm so happy to have these back. I'll actually be talking more about them in a later video, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little kind of random few days in our life in our Vancouver vlog. I know I started it off being like, this is gonna be us maintaining healthy habits. And then it kind of was, but it was also just sort of like us living our life on this trip. It's been kind of wild. I also just wanted to give you guys a heads up and apologize in advance that I am probably going to miss an upload or two this week. I haven't been able to film at all this week. So it's been honestly stressing me out so much. So I think I'm just gonna take a few days off, give myself a break and use this time to kind of start scripting and filming in advance so that when I post again next week, I'll be ahead rather than like struggling to stay on track. I'm not going anywhere. It's just a bit crazy right now with the chaos of travel and like moving from place to place and also trying to film and upload. So stay tuned, lots of content coming your way. But in the meantime, if you wanna see more from me, definitely make sure to head over to my Instagram account. I'm sharing a lot more photos and reels and stuff on there. And I would love to just share those moments with you. I hope you guys have a good day because today is a good day to have a good day and that's it. Bye.